Am I the asshole? For telling my daughter she can say goodbye to the rest of her college fund? My daughter is 17 and applying for colleges. We have a college fund saved up for her that we've been adding to since she was an infant. It's a good sizable chunk of money and a lot of donations from family have gone into it as well as her own savings occasionally. We have always made it clear that the money in there is for college only. She never had to put her savings in there has a separate savings account but did so anyway. Anyway, her girlfriend lives in Australia and they are both insanely big supernatural fans. They have both wanted to go to a convention for years at least five that I can remember. Two of the main guys are going to be at a convention in Australia. She begged me to let her go, I said no, but the con is set for after her 18th. I can't stop her if she pays for it. I assumed she would use her savings. I checked the college account to add some in and noticed a chunk of money missing. I went to speak to my daughter about it and she admitted to using the money to pay for the convention. She bought herself plane tickets, her girlfriend plane tickets other end of the country, both of their con tickets as well as booking a hotel. The con is three or four days but she's planning on staying for a couple weeks and making a vacation out of it. All in all she's taken about 10k. I lost it, honestly. Demanded she cancel which fell on deaf ears. I tried to cancel for her but she won't be refunded everything so I'm hesitant to do so. She's insisting that it's her money and she can do what she likes with it. Claims she still has enough for college and this is a once in a lifetime experience. I believe this has shown her extreme immaturity and inability to manage her future and money. I am so incredibly angry that she would go and do this. I told her she could say goodbye to the rest of her college fund and have locked the account I'm now the only person with access. She said she'll pay it back but it seems unlikely. My wife thinks I'm being harsh and that she's right she put at least 5k into the account herself, so she really only took 5k which my mother-in-law has since said she'll pay back. I think this just teaches her she can pay her way out of messes. I was certain in MH decision but everyone is acting like I'm the asshole. She's a teenage girl and her entire life shouldn't revolve around college. I'm still uncertain. So here I am. Am I the asshole? I say not the asshole if you are going to make her pay back $5,000. I don't think she should have had access to withdraw from the fund in the first place but I guess it was set up in her name and could be withdrawn from Matt 18. The money was set aside school not just for whatever she wanted. I think the rest should stay for school only she's lost the privilege of unrestricted access to the account. I'd be upset too but wouldn't lose sight of the overall goal that she go to college and use what's left exclusively for that purpose. Set up the account where you distribute the funds are paying for room board, tuition, etc. from there and that's it. When it's gone, she's now responsible for the loan or whatever. This life lesson will be learned outside the classroom for her. Info why did she have access to it in the first place? And given that she did have access, why not set up protections for withdrawal usage? I don't think you should take the rest of her college fund away from its originally intended use, but it's good that it's locked down now she never should have been able to access it. If she only really took 5k because the rest was what she put into it, you should get that much from her trip refunded and tell her she can come up with the rest because that money is for her education. If you just let her use what she took and go to the convention and her dream vacation, she still gets what she wants. ESH her college fund should not have been accessible to her, and her savings should have been kept separate and accessible. She's immature because she's young. Don't be mature and take away her college fund to add insult to injury. But do make the rest of it inaccessible to withdrawals except for college. Lesson learned. For everyone. I'd be upset but would just lock the account and tell her go and have fun but the rest of the money is for college. $5,000 was her own money, and you can chalk the other $5,000 up to a graduation gift. Call it even and move on. This isn't worth getting into a pissing match over. We aren't guaranteed time in life, she could get it by a bus or get cancer. 
let her have this one thing that you know she loves. Why the fuck did you give a 17 year old access to that kind of money? Info how did she have access to those funds, especially as still legally a minor? It sounds like a community fund that multiple people have deposited into including your daughter, sorry but you're the asshole you are more focused on controlling your now adult daughter and this is one of the last ways you can. So you are? This is how you permanently damage relationships, hell I caught my parents off for less until the day they died. Tread carefully. Yes. Let her use what money remains for college. If she has to borrow, she has to borrow. If she's old enough to make decisions about how she's going to spend that money however poorly you think she decided, don't jeopardize her future over a fangirl pissing match. Besides, cancelling would tea mean she'd get the money for airfare etc back. The money has been spent. I know the Australian dollar is low at the moment, but your daughter is going to find that Australia is a very expensive country. I hope she has access to spending money because I'd imagine most of that 10,000 has gone on fares and hotels. You're the asshole. I wonder who taught your daughter it was okay to make impulsive and unilateral decisions? Oh, you're definitely the R. I can't believe anyone would tell you different. I don't even care to explain it to you, because if you're this stupid as a parent, you have way more problems than I can help you with and you need to see a therapist. Check yourself. You're the asshole let her have fun she's still going to college. You're the asshole. You need to stop making your priorities more important than your daughter's. She is right, this is a big deal to her and you need to step back and really listen to her. If she still has enough for college then is it really such a big deal? Or is it that she defied you and you're making a point? Info. We have always made it clear that the money in there is for college only. She never had to put her savings in there has a separate savings account but did so anyway. How much money had she personally contributed to this fund? You're the arsehole I just don't see how anyone benefits from this. So now she can't go to college without taking out student loans? Is that the end result here? That's going to hurt her entire life over a stupid thing she did as a kid. I think this just teaches her she can pay her way out of messes. And I mean. Is this wrong? So many people avoid problem solving because they don't want to spend money. I think it's fine to lock the account so she can't spend it frivolously, and it's fine to want her to pay it back. I just don't see any long-term benefit to not using it for her college at all. Info why on earth was the college fund not in a 529 or Roth account if you were so adamant it was only for college? While she should not have used the college money without asking, you're the asshole. Your response is disproportional. Let her be responsible for the $5,000 she used of others' money for college. Removing her entire college fund is a dick move. Also super short-sighted giving her a financial leg up for college increases her likelihood of success and reduces her reliance on you. But uh, the money family that donated, you don't get to hold that back. That portion is not yours. Or